today we're going to make green curry chicken and vegetables with some basmati rice. So it may look complex, but it's just for some variety. We start out with chicken breast, or you can use any part of the chicken you'd like. We have yellow squash, zucchini, carrots, cauliflower. We have an onion, bamboo shoots, green peas, orange and red peppers. You're gonna need a skillet, a serving dish, salt, pepper, green curry, and some rice, a cutting board, and a knife to get set. So, first off, we are going to get our skillet ready to go. You will need a larger size skillet, like I have here, and we're going to put it on the stove with about one tablespoon of olive oil. Our temperature is going to be set on medium. And we are going to get started cooking our chicken. So I have three chicken breasts here, and now we're just going to give them a nice thin slice. And you can use whatever size you're comfortable with. I prefer to use a bite size thinner cut when I'm doing this. And you can also trim off the fat. But remember to always use one swift, long motion, no sign when you're cutting your meats. All right, we have our chicken cut up. So we're gonna put it in the skillet. Now you're going to take some salt and pepper and just lightly sprinkle it on your chicken. Next, we have our rice. So you can prepare your rice however you prefer to do it. I personally like to use my Instapot. I know never, not everyone has one of those at home, so you can just use your typical stovetop method, or you can use Instapot method, or if you have a cook rice cooker, you can do that too. So I'm just going to use two cups of rice and three and a half cups of water in my Instapot. So we are here, our chicken is cooking. Now we're gonna to get to our vegetables. The recipe calls for five cups of vegetables. We will not be using all of our vegetables in this recipe. We're gonna be saving them for our snack later. So we are going to put our scraps in a bowl to save them for our broth that we are going to be making later. So here we have our cauliflower. It may look like an intimidating vegetable to cut up, but it's really pretty easy. So I like to flip it upside down like this, tear off some of the bigger chunks of stem, and we'll just set those here in our scrap pile. If you take your knife, what we're going to do is cut 
a cone shape from the center of our cauliflower. Don't worry if you dig too deep, that's okay. It's a pretty forgiving plant and it's not going to fall apart on you. Okay, so here we go. This is kind of what you're going to want it to look like. And then these last pieces should just come off easily. Then I like to just tear the pieces apart. And you can see how easily it just breaks off the stem. Okay, we are going to save some of these pieces for our snack later. And then we're going to do a little cutting on our cauliflower pieces. I like to cut off the stems when I'm using, when I'm going to cook them. So they're closer to the head. And then we'll just cut some bite-sized pieces. Okay, so when you're done, you should have pieces that are about this size, quarter size, I'd say. And then we're going to set them aside. Okay, now we're going to put together our five cups of vegetables. I'm putting in our bamboo shoots first. This is one can drained. You can find this in the Asian section of your grocery store. Then I'm gonna add the sugar snack peas. Then I'm gonna start adding our vegetables that we cut up. We have carrots, our green zucchini, our yellow squash, our red and orange pepper, and lastly, our cauliflower. So here we go, we have our vegetables. We're going to be adding our chicken back into our vegetables as well. We're adding one cup of water to our mix. And we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, for our last step, in our curry, we're going to be adding basil leaves. So you can use Thai basil or regular basil. I picked this from my garden this morning. We're just going to pick the leaves off. This has been rinsed. And you're going to do about one handful. 